So really pretty sounding, right? With those nine chords, the major nine, the minor nine. So now I'm gonna move this to the key of C. Just so you can see the relationship between what's minor, what's major. And sometimes in the accidentals, you can see the flats versus the naturals. Okay, so in the key of C. So that's the arpeggio that we're gonna play first. So a major nine arpeggio, if you will, but adding another chord extension on top of that. So we have the one, three, five, seven, nine, and then like the fifth, the octave of the fifth, right? So that G would be the five of C major. Okay, so we have natural notes, C, E, G, B, D, and then we have G at the top again. So for the minor nine, or the minor nine chord, we'll be playing the root note C, the minor third, so the flat, the E flat, the regular five, here's another flat B flat, here's a natural D, and then we're gonna be playing that, just for this case, I like how that four sounds or that suspended like sound or 11 would sound. So that's our chord extension. So we have one, three, five, seven, nine, 11 for this arpeggio. And then the chords I was playing on top of that was just a minor nine chord made up of a one, three, or sorry, no, one, five, nine, and then the major third or the minor third. So in the case of the bass <laughs> you can't play all four chords at the same exact time or all five or five notes at the same exact time i should say so we have the c the g the nine which is the d and then i'm playing the minor third for the minor nine arpeggio and one thing that you have to realize in the other lesson i was preparing you have to realize and understand that the minor nine and major nine doesn't mean you flat the nine to make it minor Okay, so the other elements inside of that arpeggio or inside of the scale changes the chord. So in this instance, the nine, the minor nine chord, what you have to do to alter that is flat the third and flat the seventh. The nine actually stays the same between the major scale and the minor, right? That nine will stay the same. So in this case, I have a C, G, D, and then a minor third on the top, which will be my E flat. Okay, so I'm just playing that an octave higher. So for the major nine, all I would do is keep those same notes, keep that nine the same, and then I have to raise the third to make it a natural. So I have this. On the top to make that an E natural. Okay, so let's play this in the, in the key of C. It's gonna be the same formation and same pattern. So we have the C minor nine arpeggio. Or you guys should call that 11, right? Because you're ending up on the 11th chord tone. And then you have the major. You have one, three, five, seven, nine. And then for this case, I like how the fifth sounds on top of that. I could actually play that. I could flat the five or sharp the four in this, in this case and make it a Lydian scale. So to have that Lydian sound. Uh, but I don't. Uh, I didn't want to do that because there's a similar exercise that I like to do that sounds just like that. So I was trying to switch it up just a little bit. So sounds a little bit, you know, almost finished uh, if when you hit that that fifth scale degree on top. So and it's a huge stretch as well. So you're going from the seventh fret to the twelfth fret. Big jump. So you have to pay close attention to that. So all together, minor. Major, jump. So not only is this a great a dexterity exercise, you can actually hear the difference between a minor nine chord and a major nine chord, just like we did in the beginning. Right? Just in a different key. <laughs> yeah, uh, this stuff is very vast, fascinating to me when I learned it, and uh, it, it just, it's very confusing at first if you don't understand the rules. So make sure you got this down packed. I'm playing this exercise in 5-4, four, four times over for one, um, for the minor nine, four times again. 
uh, for the major nine, okay? And just playing that back and forth, uh, ascending and descending. <laughs> Make sure your notes are coming out clean, clear, and precise. Like I always say, that's first and foremost. If you have any questions, please write your comments and or questions down in the comment section, and I'll get back to you guys as soon as I possibly can. Keep it funky. Peace.